I'm back with Buffy the Sin Slayer, number 24 or 23, I forget exactly. I think it's... I think it's 24, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, in between things, I just uh, dropped my stuff off at Red Rocket, sold the garbage that I didn't need, Bunker Hill, and fast travel to the Parsons Insane Asylum. And that is where I am right now. And I've actually already done this part once today. Not just once on my other character, so I guess in total that's two times. But I'm having to redo this because I had some company in the middle of the other one, about 17-ish minutes in, and I didn't want to just end it there in the middle of this quest. Uh, yeah, so I just, I still had a quick save from right after I had sold my stuff at Bunker Hill, so I reloaded it up, went back to Red Rocket, dropped my stuff off, junk that I had, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, here I am, inside the Parson State Asylum. So I'm gonna heal myself up right now, and I'll probably be sort of rushing through this part since I just played it a little bit earlier, and now it kinda is, you know, it's like, ah, crap, I gotta play through this again, seriously. Um, Reboy Steak, sure. Fort oh, where'd it go? Oh. Just gonna step in this room and grab the loots. See if we got any like technical documents and desk fans, all that stuff. All right. Down? Oh, is my FOV different? I'm not sure. See, I made a change in the INI files to change my FOV to 90, but I honestly can't tell if it is. Maybe? Hard to say. I think it was like 70 before, so... It's not like a huge jump. I should put it to like 120, which is what I use in Black Ops 3, which is really nice. Let's see if, uh... See if the change is still there. Is one of these guys a legendary? Because it was the first time I came through here earlier, and no. Nothing legendary. But that is the top floor cleared. Now I can pick up the Charisma bobblehead. Perfect. I already nabbed a screenshot of this earlier, but I'll cop another one. Nothing says pizzazz like a winning smile. Don't worry about me. Technical document. So earlier when I came through here, yeah, I had to stand behind him in order for him to go in there. Edward, so. How badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet. But and I, I feel a sneeze coming on. Using the elevator? Yeah. So I may very well. I said the elevator. Me and Mike in second. If I cannot control myself, he just talking to Edward right now, and Edward's like, "Yeah, frick, man, they're down there, man. They're going after Lorenzo." And like, "Oh crap, we gotta go get Lorenzo." Lorenzo, and then there's gonna be raiders out here. See, there they are. Maybe I should just start fighting them. So by the time Jack gets over here. I'm already freaking cleared. Ah, oh, Jack's key. Okay, there goes that, Holmes. God damn, sometimes this chameleon thing is just extremely annoying. I hope I get a better leg soon. I think I had one and I got rid of it because it wasn't as good. Or because it didn't have the chameleon thing, it was only a little bit better. 
I guess I have to go talk to Jack quick so that he can come over here and open the door. Oh no. Did starting combat make him go into combat and now he's not going to finish the dialogue he needs to over here? I think maybe I might have to kill these guys first. Okay, cool. Now... Where do... Or what do I got down here? Rib oil steak? Let's go see if that cheered him up. Go ahead. Got it. Let's go. Sick. Oh yeah, I think I was talking about it earlier, but that video is not going to get uploaded because I'm going to redo it right now, but this is the first video that I'm recording in a few days that it's going to go up the same day I recorded it. I recorded some on the weekend and saved them up, and then I recorded one on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Didn't record one yesterday on Thursday, and now I'm doing this today and it's going to go up today because my stash is is depleted, so I'll have to uh, save up some more this weekend so that when I go to work next week, I have stuff to upload again. And there's a few things that I want to do on this character that I'll be ripping and making videos of separately. Oh my gosh. Jesus, Jack. You almost got me killed, bud. Get out of the way. But yeah, there's going to be stuff that I want to do separately. Or make separate videos of in during this playthrough, like stuff with the railroad. I'm gonna have to side with them and then betray them afterwards, because there's a couple stuff or a couple things that I want to do with them, and I didn't realize they were things until just this past couple days here when I checked out a couple Reddit threads. But some cool things. I also saw like an IGN article, so stuff I want to make videos about. looks like this is moving along quite a bit faster than the previous time, obviously because I'm more familiar with what to expect and not taking as much time to uh, peruse. Oh. Pick this lock in the meantime while that grenade's thinking about blowing up. There we go. Got him. Okay, I have to... have to nab a screenshot of that. That's a, that's a decent uh, video icon. Just a TM there to toggle menus to get rid of everything because I wanted to get rid of my cursor hovering on everybody. Oh yeah, these Berserk Raiders have, are the ones that are a little bit stronger, I guess, because they've taken the serum, something like that. Don't seem a whole lot stronger. Whatever, I'll just take it all, give it all. Still got more stuff to pick up though, so I'll take it easy on the picking things up. Terrible fighter. Just 
Stick to science, you filthy, filthy <laughs> cretin. Alright, down yonder, and this is pretty much right where I stopped. I was in this hallway fighting, and I think that's right into the recording, and that's when I was at like 17 minutes, so I am ahead of schedule. By quite a bit. And that's also because I had like an extra minute out front, or at least more, where... Yeah, I was standing outside the asylum, just doing a bit of talking and looting the bodies out there, grabbing the ammo, but I already grabbed the ammo off them. Figured I'd just start the video right when I entered the doors. Skip the loading screen. And I gotta stop being ignorant, just rushing out there. But it looks like... Yeah, they're all below us. I think I can rush out there and be all ignorant. And I hear a radio on. Better not start playing music, Travis. Actually, no, can't. I don't think there's anything really worth in these. There's stuff in here that's worth it. Oh! Desk fans, technical documents, pencils. Pencils can be used for the syringe rifle, not that I'll ever be using it much, but who knows. Actually, I think this is right where I cut it. I remember doing... Oh yeah, no. I was confusing this hallway with the last one, so it's definitely this is where I ended it. Out of the way, Cabot. Because yeah, I, was, I killed this legendary raider in the last time. I'll do the same thing I did then. Oh, it's over there. Last time I just weakened it until it was mutated and then went over here. Oops. And did that. Except it wasn't in this room. Ooh. 25% more damage. That's sick. I'll have to mod that one up instead of the one I'm currently carrying. Below the Luffa Sweet Terra Blue shotgun. That's it. Okay, sweet. Got all that nonsense. And down the elevator we go. The elevator is still working. Going down. Now this is the part where we get a sort of I guess the ending of the quest actually. It's got to fight a couple or a unique raider and his homies. I'm gonna mute while I take a sip of my water here. Give everyone you see, don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Lorenzo. I actually tried to fight Lorenzo on either character, but he's really strong. So it's easier just to actually just capture him right out. Sort of looks like Vault Tech was down here. Sweet. Oops. Upstairs, and they still can't stop these clowns from barging Lefty, you son of a bitch. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Right. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had is. Look the at that stupid thing on his head. Visit. Father, I will stop Gotta wait for Lorenzo to open the door for me. Grown, Jack. The artifact still has so Not sure what level I did this on my other character, but I remember it being a little bit tough. I'll be happy to teach you too. No, I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Fall. In the they meantime, all the security doors. 
I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. All right. You need to shut Come on. down the container. So leave. All right. I'm going to need my rifle. And I should probably heal. And I'll take a psycho and a buff out if I have. Bring it! I'll be happy to show you how to get more of the serum. As soon as you let me out of it, apparently even the simplest task was beyond your capabilities. That is it. Alright, these guys are actually really easy. Maybe I was a much lower level or I just sucked or something. Mysterious serum. Look at that. Don't listen to my son. I'm gonna set the manual over right here by flipping four switches around the room. Don't worry, I already figured it out, Jack. Done. Zeta radiation. Ooh. I don't have a whole lot of space left since my buff out's gonna wear off, so. Done taking stuff for now. Only 16 minutes in, too. Forever if you had your way, puny worm. Do you truly think you have the power? Oh, there's also an astoundingly awesome tales in here. I believe. Goodbye, Father. I think this things go down. Yeah. So I can go in there. Zeta radiation all gone. Oh, a surgical journal. Two more limb damage. Two percent more. Veggie soup. And a wake master alarm. Lorenzo suit. I'll be taking that, Sir Lorenzo. Sup, Jay? We didn't have any other choice. JC? It was the only option left. I hope you're right. I think this time I really was close to finding a way to cure him. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No, I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. Um. Uh... What now? what now? I need to bury my father and shut down this place. I won't be back here again. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Thanks. Thanks. One more thing. Up, up. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Get the Lorenzo's artifact gun, but I ain't particularly interested in it. And now we can take the elevator. Back up to uh main level. Can I open the hatch? No. Kinda wanna check my perk chart here and see what I got available. If it is of interest. 26, right? Yeah. Um, should I do that? Actually, I heard that this is good no matter what. Um, 
I read a th I sort of skimmed through a thing, but like essentially, idiot savant is worth it no matter what level your intelligence is. So, um, should I just roll with both ranks? Yeah, I was thinking of putting more damage, but with the rifle thing, but I'm doing all right damage right now. So, I don't really care. I should probably check my quest log here and see what else I can do, because I got plenty of time to do something else this, this time around. Don't want to do that. I guess I could continue on with the, the main quest. Or I could road to freedom it up. I think the road to freedom comes pretty soon anyways, so this way I can just go to the Old North Church and meet the railroad and be done with it. Kind of want to do a couple quests for them anyways, because uh, we can get some really sick armor, the ballistic weave armor by doing that, and that'll help me get closer to the point where I can make a video about it, a separate video. I'll just have to rip footage from this, but before I fast travel, I want to go pick up the hub flower right here. These great mentats are fantastic. Oh, I see more hub flowers over there, but I want to check out all these guards now. Ooh. Hub flowers. Hub flowers. Okay. I could do the swan fight. I don't know. Maybe I should make that a separate video. Data. Road to freedom. Follow the freedom trail. Does it tell me? Like, is there a map location for that? No. It's just over here somewhere. That's all I know. It's right by Swan's Pond. Park Street Station. I don't know, maybe I could just fight Swan right now. Because, I don't know, maybe it could be the event of another video. Mm, I think I'll just go to the railroad. At least start heading there towards the Old North Church. I'm not sure how much more I'll be able to squeeze in in the next few minutes. Every issue of the Massachusetts Surgical Journal collects a slight increase to enemy limb damage. Sick info. I also want to play some Black Ops 3 tonight. I'm putting that off. Haven't really been playing anything but this kind of want to play zombies in that. I've been hearing a lot of talk about it, and I just want to give it another whirl. Uh, but anyways, it looks like the red redness goes this way, so I don't remember... Like, I mean, I have the gist of where the Old North Church is, but it's probably just easier if I follow this. Alright. I'll fight these noobs. Actually, I should probably fight them with this gun. So I'm not wasting precious ammo. that frame rate. 38, Jesus. It's terrible in the city. Franklin. Ben Franklin? so bad. So sorry. Walks right in front of good neighbor. 
I know it goes by that tower with all the super mutants. Ah. Okay. The old corner bookstore. Sounds like there'd be a magazine there, and the super mutants are right at that building. Oops. Ugh, it's so garbage right now. Where is it? Oh, it's so garbage right now. I'm just gonna run. There's no super mutants out front there. 38 frames, dude. Oh my gosh, and now there's that guy. The suicider. I can't even see where I'm going. Was it this way? I already lost it because I can't tell what's going on. Yeah, this way. I hear something. You hear nothing. Oh, there we are. Old North Church. Okay, I'm just going to cut this one a little bit short. If you like it, you can go ahead and leave a like. If you've got something to say, you can leave me a comment. I get back to those. And if you hate it, you can always leave a dislike. And then, uh, yeah, you can subscribe for more. Because there's more on the way, but... Bye for now.